Hello everybody, we're back uh, with part two of our playthrough of chapter one in the Corset campaign. Chapter one being called The Gathering and the campaign is Night of the Zealot. During the break I did just take a quick look at the previous video um, where I was worried that I had, I wasn't sure whether I had given myself the upkeep phases resource. Um, I had not, so when I did give myself, I gave myself one resource, I, I played it correctly. Um, sure, where were we, what are we doing? We are at the start of a turn and we must deal with a mythos phase. We jump straight into that or comment on the state. Uh, we should remind ourselves that Roland has his psychosis in play and if he takes any horror he's also going to take one direct damage. I have split the party up. Um, I can live with that. Wendy's a bit of a powerhouse action wise at the moment um, I feel like she won't have a problem grabbing this clue and coming down uh, to help out with the seller grabbing that Roland is currently sort of engaged in. He's kind of got his own problems <laughs> right now. Uh, let's jump into the mythos phase. Tick it up by one and let's go around and give our decks a shuffle. What do we have for Roland? Rotting remains. Test willpower and for each point you fail by, take one horror. Combine that with Psychosis, not the best combination of cards, I think it's safe to say. Um, this is terrible for Roland anyway, uh, when combined with Psychosis, it's just a, that little bit, stings that little bit more. Um, okay, I don't think we have much in, that we can actually commit, so no we can't, and uh, Wendy can't help out because she's at a different location. We just have to make this test. Willpower 3 versus um, uh, difficulty 3. Zeros or better, please. Minus one. So we're going to take one horror, and that is going to trigger psychosis, and we take one direct damage. Okay. Wendy draws. Also rotting remains. Um, so we do the same thing. Does she want to... She's... I mean, if she were to now, for example, draw tentacles and fail by three, she would go up to six. She would be one point away from uh, going insane, which is terrible. But there's not actually options here for... Yeah, our best option is uh, the repull, obviously. So, let's just uh, make the test. We actually have a, a better willpower, so it's four versus difficulty three. Okay, no need to worry. Zero is uh, no no foul, no harm. Right then, investigation phase. I think we'll start with Roland. Uh, with this in play, I feel like his options are a lot simpler. Um, yeah. So, action, action. Yeah, I think that's right. We just get rid of psychosis. The reason I was pausing there, I'm not sure what to do with this last action. Uh, we have... I could equip my machete and get it out. What that means is... If an enemy spawns into my um, engagement area, I can use my machete without wasting my bullets. Otherwise, you're kind of fiddling around with, I don't want to equip the machete, because I'll take an opportunity attack, so Wendy has to jump in. Or, the alternative is, we're at this, the cellar, we have a card here, it makes a lot of sense just to commit this and try and grab a clue. We don't have an option actually, uh, there is a reason why I'm not going to uh, equip the machete, that reason is, this uses up one hand slot, this uses up one hand slot, this uses up one hand slot, sadly Roland only has two hands, so he's he could equip this, absolutely, but he would have to discard one of these. I think, given the clue situation in the cellar, it makes far more sense for us to maximize the effect of the magnifying glass. Third action, we will commit this. Intellect 3, Intellect 4, Intellect 5, 6, and throw it at the cellar's shroud value of 4. So minus 2 or better, please. 0. Exception is successful and it replaces itself in our hand. There's physical training. Could be nice to get out actually, I think. 
We're, we're not really geared up very well for a Ghoul Priest fight right now. Uh, but we definitely have a few turns before we get to there. We still have a seller to deal with. That was Roland's three turns. Oh, of course. He grabbed a clue also. Wendy, I think for you, your best bet right now is grab this clue, move into the cellar, and then see what you can do. So we'll try to grab that clue first of all. I won't commit anything. We'll just use Intellect 3 versus Shroud 1 and hope for minus 2 or better. That's a fail. Let's take advantage of that with the Rabbit's Foot and draw a card. Uh, there's Wendy's Amulet. Nice to have. That was the first action. Second action, we'll try that again. Minus 2 or better. There's a minus 2. So we got the clue. And then we can click, click, and Wendy can move into the hallway and into the cellar, where she also gets her own splinter going down the banisters and takes one damage. Um, I think there's nothing else I need to do here. No enemies, obviously, on the board. We can go into upkeep and unexhaust the rabbit's foot and go down to Roland where he can draw a card. Guard dog, hello. Into resource. Wendy draws survival instinct. Hmm, could be useful later. Certainly not one of the cards that I'm looking to uh, draw into right now. I want some of Wendy's stronger ghoul priest fighting cards like sneak attack and backstab. Uh, Lucky would be a nice card to draw into also. Um, hmm. Sure. Next Mythos phase. We'll bump it up by uh, another one and draw some encounter cards. Roland. I would like to see some enemies right about now. Maybe not all the enemies at once, but one per turn would be nice, just so we can actually get some benefit from Roland's ability. No enemy there. That's Grasping Hands. We're testing agility and taking damage. Nothing to commit. Wendy could help out theoretically. Will she? Or do I just throw damage on Roland? He can take it, can't he? Hmm. Maybe it's worth saving him one damage. Okay, I will help out by committing one agility icon uh, into Roland's uh, agility check. So he has three versus three. That is a minus two. There was no ghoul at our location, so we don't take the extra damage, but we do take two damage. Wendy draws. Aha! Nice, easy swarm of rats. That's wonderful. Beautiful. Right, investigation phase. Um, so that Wendy can act without taking opportunity attacks, we want Roland to get the uh, enemy defeat. He will spend an action. It's There's a chance that he can miss and fail, but it's uh, unlikely. He will just use his base combat of 4 versus difficulty 1. So he's not spending bullets on rats. And that is a 0 modifier. Uh, with that, the rat is defeated. We gain a clue. We actually have enough clues now to spawn the ghoul priest. Question is, do we want to snaffle these last two clues and get the extra victory point? I don't feel like I'm ready to fight a ghoul priest now, so I think that option is kind of already made for us to an extent. But we could arguably... Well, no, let's... Because I want to get rid of this, maybe I do one check versus here. What would the numbers be, just out of interest? It would be 3, 4 versus Shroud 4, 0 or better. Do I want to waste an action on a 0 or better chance? I think... I think I do. Second action, we will just kind of throw a magnifying glass at the wall rather than um, use it properly and just see what happens. That is minus two. 
There's no ghoul, so we don't take the additional damage. Um, and at this point, I am going to replace magnifying glass with the machete for one, two, three resources. That's Roland's um, attempt. What can Wendy try in the cellar? She has perception. She can try for a minus one or better. She would have modified five versus Shroud of Four. I think we do that. We gain a benefit one way or another because we have Rabbit's Foot. Um, so sure, let's give it a go. Maybe we discard something. I think I am trying to get these clues. I want the extra victory point. So this is the first action. Uh, minus one or better. That is a zero. Thank you, no ghouls. So that is a success. We gain this clue. Perception goes into the discard and replaces itself. Yes, there's Lucky. So at this point, we could investigate again. And if we fail by, if we fail, we can add two. So it is as if we can guarantee having, <laughs> it's like minus one or better, I think, again. This might be the best way to do this. The only consideration I have is if an enemy spawns in here during the Mythos phase, which is likely because we have not seen many monsters come out so far. Um, it's just an easier way for Roland to grab the clue using his special ability. Yeah, I think that's better. This is going to be very useful in any case once we run into the Ghoul Priest. There's obviously something also to be said for playing this now. And then when we get Wendy's amulet out, we can play into it a second time. Perhaps we do that. Perhaps we do that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Second action. Well, no, before we do that, are we likely to draw any cards this turn? If we're going to draw cards, let's draw them first. Or are we just going to click for resources? I think we should draw one more card. So before we do this, let's, um, as a second action, draw a card. Knife. It's a third action. Let's, <laughs> I think we do do this. Yeah, let's draw a card. Okay, you're kind of useless actually, although we can commit you to this test. There we go. As a fourth action, we will commit this to the clue grabbing test. And if we do fail, we can add this. Um, so we should be fairly okay here, I think. Do some numbers, intellect three. 3, 4, 5. So this is minus 1 or better. Do we have a single? No, but if we... Essentially, if we get minus 3, we can play lucky uh, to succeed. Oh, but we have to... No, because we're committing this. I was about to say I have to pay 2, but that's not correct at all. I'm just making a regular investigation check. Let's see what we get. It's ghouls. It's 0. We are successful. We put this in our event side of things, which is a shame because it I'm unlikely to use this again. Um, however, emergency cash would have been nice to um, Wendy's amulet into. But we do gain our clue. And we didn't need to spend lucky in the process. So then we are we've grabbed all of our clues that we need. Uh, Roland's, am, Roland's weapon has lost its uh, plus three combat in all instances. No uh, enemies to deal with. Let's go into card draw. Roland has something I don't really care to see. And Wendy draws into Cunning Distraction. Hmm. Again, not the cards I'm looking for. I'm looking for sneak attack. I'm looking for backstab over here. Um, hard knocks. Over here I'm looking for... I think I would prefer Beat Cop over Guard Dog. Um, I'm looking for Vicious Blow. 
and just the overpower skill cards that I can commit to combat checks. However, it, we have what we have, so let's uh, move forward with the tools at our disposal. At the end of the turn, we can go into the next Mythos phase. We draw... I thought so. I thought it was due. We draw a Ghoul Minion for Roland. Goes into his threat area. And we draw a Ghoul Minion for Wendy. Goes into her threat area. In this situation, we're going to head back to the hallway now. Roland is going to smack a Ghoul. He has combat 4, 5, it's the only enemy in his area, uh, so he gets plus one damage. And we want minus three or better. There's a success, and the ghoul dies. We can't use uh, Roland's special ability. I'm getting rid of the ghouls, though, because they obviously impact on numbers in the chaos bag. And if you just leave them hanging around too much, if you let this progress too far, then they're going to come back and say hello later on. Second action, we will move into the hallway. Third action, do I want a resource or another card? I think. Do I equip guard dog? We're not ready to fight a ghoul priest right now. I really don't think we are. Maybe we are. We just don't have that much in the way of bursty damage, sadly. And Roland doesn't actually have too much that he can commit to his combat skill checks. Um, he doesn't have an awful lot of resources to fuel physical training. He doesn't have his beat cop out for his natural plus one. He's going to draw a card. I am digging for cards right now. We know there are no weaknesses in here, at least. You're not very useful. Uh, we'll go over to Wendy. What's Wendy going to do? Rather than kill her ghoul, she is just going to evade her ghoul. Yeah, she'll just evade the ghoul. Uh, minus two or better. That's a fail. Do we take the card? I think we do. Take a card. There's our manual dexterity. That was the first action. Second action, we'll try to evade again. Minus two. Minus four, gosh. We can't use the rabbit's foot twice in a turn. So at this point, our hand is getting very full. So let's get rid of switchblade and re-pull that. There we go, there's a success. The ghoul is exhausted and goes back up to the cellar. At this point, Wendy is free to move out of the cellar, back into the hallway. And she has one more action. We shan't draw another card because we're going to draw a free one anyway. And we would uh, have a problem there. Do we equip, say, Leather Coat? Might not be a terrible plan, actually. Yeah, sure. Let's equip Leather Coat. Right. That is the situation. Uh, there is an enemy, but it can't do anything. We're going to upkeep, get our actions back, unexhaust any cards. The ghoul minion does not uh, have hunt or anything, so it's just going to sit around in there, twiddling its thumbs, going, blur, where did they go? And we draw some cards. Overpower. So there we go. Now we're gearing up a little bit for a ghoul priest fight. I uh, don't like to see the Derringer. It's not my favourite weapon. It might be worth equipping just for a weapon. Single pings of damage against the Ghoul Priest might be make or break. It's expensive though at three. It really is. At that point... Um, sure, let's move into another turn. Bump up the Mythos by one and draw some cards. Roland is uh, suffering from dissonant voices, so he cannot play events or assets. So he wouldn't be able to equip Guard Dog. Maybe he's going to spend a turn um, clicking for cards or resources. He might just click three times for resources and then we try to get physical training out. 
Maybe. Wendy draws in too. Oh, I think Roland will probably spend a, a small amount of his turn fighting. There is another ghoul. And we go into our actions. So at this point, do I feel confident? No, with this in play, I, I don't mind wasting actions like this. Roland will engage the ghoul over so that he can use his machete. Uh, he is then testing combat 5 versus difficulty 3 for his second action. Which is a success. We have a dead ghoul. And then third action will just be gain a resource or gain a card. I think card. Third action is card. Another overpower. Okay. So with these two in hand, I feel a little bit better about just going and unloading in the ghoul priest's face. Maybe we can get ghoul uh, guard dog out just for its little ticks of damage. Um, it doesn't really help so much. Beat cop is so much better uh, for the ghoul priest fight. Interesting, interesting option. Wendy, what are you going to do, Wendy? What are you going to do? I'm really not sure what Wendy's best play here is. Obviously her hand is getting quite big. Maybe we just click a bunch of times for resources here to give us a essentially a, a free. If we click four times here we're pretty much paying for cunning distraction in advance and this can just make the difference between um, a breeze of a turn and an absolute nightmare of a turn. I think I'd do that. It's a little bit dull perhaps, but I think that's the strongest option at this point. We are not going to... Will we pop the Ghoul Priest now? Are we ready for a Ghoul Priest fight next turn? We might be. We might actually be. We could do that, couldn't we? Let's finish off this turn. No enemies to mess around with. Um, nothing to unexhaust. Let's draw another card. Don't want to see you, Flashlight. You're no good to me. Wendy draws. Emergency cash. No backstabs or sneak attacks. So I don't think Wendy's going to be putting the pain on uh, the Ghoul Priest. We're going to pop a little cut in here. We'll come back for uh, one more video, um, I believe, I'm guessing. It looks like we're ready to pop a Ghoul Priest. I'm not saying we will do that straight away. I need to just consider whether now is the time or if I want one more turn to try to dig into some of the more key combat cards. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope to see you again shortly in the next video. See you soon. Bye-bye.